G'day guys. So it's challenge lock time. And I'll just grab one out of the box. This one's by Steel Pinnings. And it's Showdown at the OK Coral. I believe that's what it's called. Uh, it's a nice little. It's the. Get my camera to focus. That's the bidding for it. So, not too bad. Uh, it does work really nice. Although, I reckon it's got a pretty strong spring in this because it's got a slight drag on the core there. But not too much. So, anyway. Hopefully, won't need the key until gutting. I've been advising. I don't have a kick holder, so hopefully this will work. Let's make sure it's still. Yep, should hold it. A little bit of flop might have to. Should be alright. Make sure it's locked up. And the pins are down. Uh, let's go. Schultz hook and top of the keyway. Zoom in. So you can see. Large end. All right. So I'm gonna go light tension. Um, can't really pick from the bottom because there's this big chunk of warding just here on the left hand side. So I'm gonna pick off this bit of warding down the bottom here on the right, so I can guide my pick along there and use that to uh, manipulate the pins. All right, so all the way in, start off at the back, light tension, work way forward, try and find the binder. Fill up pin three. Click out of three. Uh, I think I may have just dropped that. Oop, click out of one, slight turn on the core. Oop, big click out of three just then. Four, four's completely bound at the moment. Oop, click out of four. I'm a bit deeper fault set now. Set. Click out of two. Oh, touch four then, got a deeper fault set.
Oh, bit of counter then on five. Keep falling off it for some reason. Come on. Just have to move this a little bit so I can get a better grip. So, just finished work, been up since 5.30 this morning. Uh, work from, got there at 6.30, started at 7, finished at 3, so there's some counter. Feels like pin five. But it stops. So maybe over setting. All right, I'm gonna switch picks. Let's see if we can use a slightly higher reach Let's see if that works a bit better for me Feels like one is set. Two is still springy. Three is solid. Got no tension on this, and three is completely seized. I'm getting a little bit of counter then on four. Oop. Got a click but lost my fault set. Got a little bit of a back click off five. And our pins caught. Four again. Click out of four. There's the three. So I did drop a couple. This lock is really giving me some. There we go. Pin three I was stuck on. But got an open. Alright, let's zoom back out. Let's get the picks out of the way. Probably took me a bit longer because I'm pretty exhausted. From work, it's a busy day. All right, but got an open, so I can lock that back up. And I'll break out the beast. Since one of my comments the other day was my uh, little pinning tray, it's made out of a chopping board that I made. It's the only one I got, so it is pretty large. Um, just for comparison, I've got a 30 centimeter or 300 millimeter ruler here, and the board's bigger than that, so is quite a big pinning tray. But anyway, Oop, went down a bit too far. Lock the key. Now, yeah, let's grab I think hollow follower should cover that tailpiece nicely 
Hopefully there's no T-pins. Didn't feel like any. Circle remover. And my daughter's meant to be going to sleep because it's bedtime, but she's talking a bit. Wow. Tell you what, love this thing. This works so awesome. It's really good. Let's turn it to about there. Um, one thing I do want to say. Um, my old tweezers, as I said, I filed. If you can see, did file a grip in there. Um, so that you could grip onto the pins. But I modified these new pins. They're the new tweezers that come in that huck kit. So I did modify these. My camera will focus on it. Um, so these actually grip pins a lot better. So if you can... My camera will focus, which it doesn't want to do. Come on. Um, kind of make out. I did file into it with a round file just on the ends here. And then I, so you can see, got a grip there. I then put the round file. I'll just grab one here, just a random one. Um, once I filed it down so it was a little bit thinner, I then gripped to the tweezers onto the file there. Then I used the pliers and just bent the ends around a little bit, so the tips. And then also bent in on the tweezers on this side of the file as well, with the pliers, just to curve this a little bit. So works a treat. Easy, easy modification. Just got a file, little groove in on here and on the other side, just near the tips. Then hold it. Then grab your, I use these pliers because they were sitting there. Grab the tips and just bend them in a little bit and then gripped it this side and bent them in and makes an awesome set of pin ply, um, pin tweezers. So, very easy mod, only took me not even two minutes, <coughs> but they work fantastic. But anyway, back to this challenge lock. Um, oh, come on. Tell you what, these followers, so much better than my old homemade one. As I was told, uh, patent pending on the draw handle. <laughs> but uh, anyway, for tail pieces like this. Right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six pinner. Oh, I didn't pick up on six pins, I only picked up on five. That was a bit tricky. One, two, three, four, five. So it must have been one riding on the tip of the key. I didn't actually feel that. But, as I said, I'm pretty tired, so... Uh, don't see any modifications to the core. But this video is going to be pretty long for me. Talking to one, we've got a standard. Two, standard. Three is the standard. So it's four. I think these are all standards. Same as five. And lucky last standard as well. So absolutely no modifications to the core, no undercuts, no threading. Nothing completely stock. All right, upstairs. Oh, 
was a pretty tight fit. Whoop. We have, I saw that come out, a serrated driver in one. And dump that spring out. Have a little, oh, well, that was doubled, but it's not just a little brass spring, or copper spring. Oh, these are launching out, but did see that. We have, looks like an Asa barrel. And another spring exactly the same. All right, let's go number three. I've got shakes up. See that one pop out then. Doing a terrible job at this. That coming out that way. So we've got a little spool with a very sharp edge. And exactly the same spring. I think this fork may be a little bit too tight. Have another looks like an Asa barrel, it's like a double spool. And same spring again. All right, might turn this around. In six. Whoop, that launched out. Six looks like a standard. Um, with normal brass ring there. Five is a spool with another one of those. Really nice. Point out. Springs and no modifications to the Bible. Looks completely, yep, completely stock. So it was all in the springs. I'm sweating like a pig at the moment. I better take my jacket off. Whew. All right, so zoom in here. All right, so chamber one, we have the serrated for the driver. All the bottom keepings are standard. We've got a, looks like an Asa barrel. And we've got a nice spool with very sharp end on that one. And then moving along, we've got another, looks like the Asa barrel, or Asa spool. We end a spool, and then standard up the top. So, very nice work, very nice. By Steel Pennings, that was sent in by, to me, through uh, Don's Locks. So, awesome. 
put up quite a bit of a fight. So anyway, as always, always follow the codes. Keep Locksport legal. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, thank you to all my subscribers. Appreciate it. Um, don't forget to give a thumbs up and a like if you like what you see. And until next time, cheers, guys.